but um, yeah, it's really nice. It's at least based on the pictures, because everything around here, everything is pretty much like a reddish, tannish color. And in the museum, it's supposed to be blue. So I'm excited to see the contrast of colors compared to what we've been seeing, you know? So, come on, let's go. Okay, the way this happened was East Saint Laurent came out here to Morocco, loved the garden, bought it, and turned it into a foundation and there's a museum for people to come and see it he pretty much restored it and because he turned it into a museum it's able to be up kept the way it is like zen and peaceful only because you can hear like the birds chirping and everything it's pretty cool it's not that many people which is nice well i will say they have some really big cactus i've never seen cactus this big look at them i wonder what kind of cactus these are because they are all different types of cactus and everything so I always wonder which one is what it's like what's the name of each cactus it tells you based so on how the do picture. you know which one is the tall skinny one mm -hmm. is number six came from ah. north argentina ah, okay. and then which one's the US? wonderful 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 did somebody carve their name on this one look like a few people did Coming up your name. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> so yeah, guys. And then continue walking around. What's going on, my people? We decided to take a little stop real quick and sit down and relax and actually enjoy the view for a little bit. Because if you if you don't, you can you know really run run through this. It's it's not that big, so it's good to just sit down and relax and actually enjoy where you at for a little bit and then carry on so that's what we're doing right now and actually giving her a break to get out her car seat because she gets tired of sitting there she has stolen she gets tired of sitting in that thing at times so we decided to let her up take a nice little break say hey to the people my baby i swear oh my baby careful i swear nobody will believe me when i say it but I'm not, I feel like I'm not good at doing the camera because, okay, let me put it like this. It's like when you meet somebody new, you're like shy and you're like, you only just talk a little bit and until you really get to know somebody, then you just blab your ear, you blab your ear out. And I feel like I'm at the stage where, we, I guess with you guys, I feel like you guys are brand new. So I'm still trying to get a hang of you, all, you guys as much as you guys trying to get a hang of me. But yeah. And I feel like as I get to know you guys, that's when I'll start blabbing your ear off. Because trust me, my mama always says, whenever I guess whenever I get super super comfortable, I'll be able to I speak as fast as a radio non-stop. But I'm still getting there. As much as you may not believe it, I am camera shy still. I think that helps break it for me. You know? Me telling the people helps me be able to break my shyness and feel like I don't know what to say to you guys. And actually when I say that, it's making me feel like I'm connected with you. Even though it's a camera, I'm like, I'm trying to get myself comfortable. Look at me, I'm getting better. I just have to open up and say how I feel. Soon enough, Dre Height gets on me every time saying I don't ever speak. Oh, speak. But I'm going to get there, y'all. I'll show y'all. <laughs> The garden museum is pretty fun. We did not go inside the museum, by the way. 
Um, we just walked then, around the garden. I will say why, because last time we were at the Ma Hassan, the second Ma, we went to the museum and it was like a two steps and that was it. And yeah. Greg was so agitated and he said, like, no more. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like we walked in there and walked out. That's how fast that museum was. So I didn't want us to do the museum here. I just thought it'd be cool to just to see the uh, the garden in the um, the pretty blue building in there. So now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go to the store first and get baby girl some food because she needs to eat. <laughs> No. Wait, yeah, I'm just gonna spice market. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, you walk around, the taxes is there everywhere. So if you want one, you got it. But we always feel like our legs are working. Yeah. And then too, you know, you know, I mean, it's exercise. It's good to walk and you know move around and not just sit around all day. So that's why we like to walk. I mean, it's only a 30 minute walk. It's not that bad. You know, but if you do, oh, if you do, if you do, if you do want to take the taxi, um, it is a bunch of them around here, and uh, don't be and, and uh, don't be afraid to park it. You know, make sure if you get in there, don't never uh, accept the first price unless you feel like it's a fat price. Hey, you guys! So I made it to the grocery store. And I just think this basket is like the coolest. Let me show you guys. Look at the back wheels. The back wheels move on the basket. It's like you can just go in any direction. It's way too cool. I have all the spices and stuff. Olives. I'm just more impressed about this basket, how I'm able to just kind of just turn it like that. Look at that thing. See them back wheels? Yeah, so we're gonna get us a few photos and whatever else we need. So these are the ones back at home that we'll give her, like the beef and the vegetables. But for some reason, she does not like that. It's a seasoning, I yeah, think. That's what it is. It's just it's a different texture, and I guess it's just a, di a different taste all around. So she does not like those at all. The only ones that she would eat is mostly just the fruit ones. So that's what we give her. You know, we give her the fruit ones, we add a little bit of cereal to it that we that, that we still have that we brought from home. But it's kind of about almost about that time for us to be getting away from these and actually give us some real food. Which we do, we feed her what we eat, but you know, we know she's not getting enough of that. So it just gives us a peace of mind knowing that if we give her what we give her. And then, if she's still hungry, right? Yeah. If she's still hungry, then we'll give her these. So at least for we have a peace of mind that she'll have oh, something. Yeah. And then apple peach. Finally went to the grocery store, got a few things we need. We lagging because it's time for us to get something to eat ourselves. Everybody lagging right now. Like, we should have brought our bottle of water, but we didn't. I, I didn't think we was gonna need it, so. He didn't listen to me. Yeah, I didn't, should have. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and get some, uh, what is it called? I'm simming. Well, simming, and then go to this little restaurant and get something to eat, and take our butts back to the room. This one, and then one of that. Yeah, is that like a little spicy? And we didn't have cash on us, so we couldn't eat here. But let's see. Here is the Moroccan salad, so good. We got the chicken skewer. Yeah, it looks like itty bitty some bread you need the bread to fill you up and some salmon oh, here it is which is that lovely lovely bread so delicious well they didn't put anything on this one and then the pizza chicken pizza